TV legend, actress Susan Lucci is here. You should see the studio, it's filled with people who love her so much. She has been beloved by audiences for playing, of course, Erica Kane on All My Children for 41 years, which is impossible because she is only 40. <laughs> now being recognized with the Lifetime Achievement Award at the Daytime Emmys for her indelible impact on the world of daytime television. So well-deserved, we love seeing you here. And welcome Thank to our you. friend, Susan. Thank you so much, I'm so happy to be here. Thank you so much. It's like for that beautiful week. It is uh, the crew. I mean, it's so wonderful for me to be in New York and see. No matter what studio I go to, I see all these wonderful faces. A lot of the crew worked on exactly. your show for so exactly. long. Exactly. And so great to see you, Lara. Thank you so much. Yeah. I, not many people know we live in the same hometown. I grew up in the same town as you. In, on the same street. I know. It's <laughs> insane, and it's so good to see you. And I'm so. I was thrilled to hear that you would be getting this mm. award. Um, 21 Emmy nominations. You finally brought it home in 1999. Yeah, so what 19. is it like right now to hear that you will be getting this Lifetime Achievement Award? Um, it's, it's really totally amazing. You know, um, we hear people say, oh, I, I am tremendously honored. And we hear people say, you know, that I'm humbled. I know what that feels like. I'm so humbled by this. The Lifetime Achievement Awards, I mean, my first thought is, oh my goodness, have I achieved enough in my lifetime <laughs> right, to I'm be too young. <laughs> I'm getting, well, the achievement, I mean, I'm not Meryl Streep, you know what I'm saying? So yes. suddenly, oh, okay, that's fantastic, I'm so honored. But there isn't a person, I, I dare say, who doesn't know the, the name, the character, Erica Kane. We've got so many images here. Thank you, this what is was so it, wonderful. What was it about her that you think stuck? <laughs> well, um, I loved her immediately, uh, but I read Gone with the Wind and everybody else loved um, Melanie and I loved Scarlett, yeah. so <laughs> I was fine with Erica Kane. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. um, you received, I, I remember watching this, a four minute standing ovation when you got your Emmy. Four minutes, people were so over the moon for you and knew that it was finally your moment. There's the moment. It was fantastic to watch. What do you imagine if, if it happens this time? What if they get up and they, and they just do that again, Susan? What will that mean to you? Oh, uh, first of all, I have no expectation. <laughs> I'm just really happy to I'm be there. I'm just trying to send out the, the, the energy <laughs> into the universe. <laughs> Thank yes. you, the energy, the <laughs> energy. And you know, from my point of view, standing out, first of all, I didn't think I would be able to stand on the stage. And, because I couldn't believe they said my name. And then when I turned around and, I mean, for me, I am seeing Kelly Ripa and David Canary yeah. and on, on stage left was Oprah Winfrey cheering and it went on and on and on. Right. So it was incredible. I'm glad you mentioned Kelly Ripa. Her name has been attached to uh, a possible reboot. Mm. I mean, all of us would love to know that that as a possibility, and all my children reboot. It's been bandied about. We've heard the, the name Pine Valley. Is there any hope for that? You know, I think there is. I mean, I, I really thought it had gone away. Uh, but of course, with the writer's strike and the actor's strike, kind of everything, you know, it felt like a very long time. But I am told that it is um, still alive. And certainly, I would be in the very best of hands with, with Kelly and Mark. Oh, of course. Uh, producing, you know? I mean, if we could get Haley and, and her, th that, those characters back as well, how in would we all be? It would be fantastic. And when you say Haley, I mean, it's Kelly, and I remember her her first day. Mm -hmm. uh, she was playing um, Haley as a goth teenager. Yes, I remember it black, so well. Black, black, I did not hair. miss an episode. No, and I met her actually in the ladies' room. We hadn't met, and there was a public ladies' room. That's all we had at All My Children. So we were there, and the first thing she said to me was, "You know, I signed my contract because I'll get Erica Kane's wardrobe." <laughs> I love it. And, I know, a, fr and a friendship was born. <laughs> yeah. That's amazing. Yeah. We, we found some pictures mm. from your high school yearbook. Oh, you um, did? <laughs> there you go. Yeah, voted most dramatic. So we thought it would be great to hear from you. What would you say to that beautiful young girl? Oh. What would, you, what would you say before All My Children happened, before her career started? I believe someone even said that you, that you wouldn't make it. What would you say to her quickly? Uh, I'd say to her, don't you listen to anybody who tells you just because you have dark eyes and dark hair and olive skin that you can't make it. Amen to that. Yeah. And you have proven whoever that was wrong. <laughs>
I hope they're watching. <laughs> Susan Lucci, thank you so much. Congratulations. We'll be watching and cheering you on thank when you, you receive so much, this much-deserved award. Thank you. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.